Hello and welcome to iSkipper.net. This lesson is uh, lesson 15 of the Competent Crew and uh, it is the Beaufort Wind Scale. Um, in 1806, Sir Francis Beaufort uh, invented the, uh, the Beaufort Scale and it was the first time that there had been a standard kind of way of measuring the wind and uh, understanding what you could apply what you can see to what's actually happening. So what we're going to do is have a look at the different wind strengths and how they apply to your yacht and what you, as a constant crew member what you should be expecting to be doing in different wind strengths. So what we'll do guys is we'll work up from the lightest of winds <clears throat> and then work down to the strongest of winds and we'll kind of work out how, what sort of reefs you would probably have on, on your boat at, uh, for any given wind strength. <clears throat> the first kind of, this is, uh, this is the Beaufort scale down here. The Beaufort scale goes from zero, which is dead calm, to 12, which is a hurricane. And it's break, broken, broken down uh, into 12 slots. Then we've got a description of what the wind is. And then we've got the wind speed, a wind range rather, in a... Uh, in knots. So for example, uh, force one is what we call lighters, it's not to three and this is it's pretty much flat, uh, flat calm weather. You will hardly feel any wind at all, great for wakeboarding or sitting on the boat if it's uh, nice and sunny. Working down two and three uh, up to ten knots is light winds, very flat seas and very pleasant weather in uh, if you just want to chill out on the boat. Once it starts getting above 10 knots, it starts getting a little bit more interesting, which is kind of getting into the force 4 weather, which would be described as moderate. And force 4 is where you get occasional white horses. So that means uh, a white horse is just like a little bit of uh, breaking waves on the, on the actual on the swell. And you'll just get occasional ones. So you might see one over there, one over there, one over there, very occasionally. So, and force four, you may well start to consider to uh, reducing the size of the head sail. Maybe take one or two furls if you've got a furling head sail. So, force four. Then we're moving down to a force five, which is a, uh, well, it's a fresh breeze. And that goes from 17 to 21 knots. And force five, again from a comp crew member, a crew, competent crew member, this is where you'd probably be thinking, uh, right, we might be looking at uh, putting some reefs in the sail. You may well go for a bit more reduced head sail, or you may well reduce the main sail to reef one and keep in just your couple of turns on your head sail. And for your white horses, you kind of have quite a few white horses. You'll be able to see quite a lot of kind of white water around. Then moving up a little further is we've got Force 6, which is what we call a, uh, well, it's kind of nicknamed the Yachtsman's Gale. So it's starting to get uh, strong, strong, strong breeze it's classified as. And it's 22 to 27 knots. And this is like kind of good, good sailing winds, really. Uh, you're possibly looking at uh, reef two on your on your main sail, and maybe I don't know four or five turns on your Genoa to keep the boat under control. And if you have too much sail up in these conditions, you'll probably find that you'll have uh, you'll experience weather helm, where you have to kind of stay towards the wind just to kind of keep the boat going forwards, and it gets to a point where you, you rudder you can't steer any further and the boat will screw up into wind. So this is why we need to kind of keep the boat under control and it will actually sail faster with the correct reefs in the sail. Um, coming up to four seven, uh, near gale, 28 to 33 knots. So this is kind of real interesting sailing. Probably got reef, depending which way you're going as well, uh, in relation to the wind. Um, possibly reef reef two in your main sail possibly reef three and maybe half a uh, half your head sail so it's starting to get uh, quite interesting sailing 
28 to 33 knots and uh, you're going to have some large waves, lots of uh, breaking waves and lots of white water. Um, and this is kind of the top end of what, what I personally would be going out sailing in. Um, four six is kind of great fun. Four seven, it's starting to get uh, the boats kind of getting bounced around a little bit. And, but of course, that's uh, to do with what sort of boat you're on as well. And then I've just put it in the force eight. That's officially a gale, uh, thirty four to forty knots of wind. And again, that's going to be uh, pretty full on sailing. Um, you're going to have Reef 3, uh, reduced head sail, and you may well be struggling to make way upwind, again, depending on your boat. Uh, you could possibly uh, be looking at uh, rigging up your storm jib for, rigging up your storm jib for force 8, possibly force 7 conditions. Okay, uh, what, what I would suggest from a, a competent crew uh, point of view is really concentrate, oh, excuse me, concentrate on four, five and six, learn what the, the knots are for each of these, because these are the, the interesting ones where you're going to be going out sailing and your skipper's going to be saying, oh, looking at force five conditions and you should be thinking in your head what sort of sail set uh, what sail set you'll be looking at for for them particular conditions so you could think force five uh, maybe one possibly two reefs in the main uh, reduce genoa a couple of times on the genoa keep the boat under control okay and um, every time you're out on the water I always keep an eye on, on the water and see how many white horses you get and then you kind of predict what force the wind is and have a look at the wind instruments and see if you uh, see if you agree. Alright, thank you very much and see you at the next lesson.